Hi there, the second GES 44AC locomotive overview series about locomotive air brake and how to operate IT, if you are a railfan, railroader, or worked for railways. Please help us with your subscribe and your opinion in the comments below to build a community of people who have a knowledge about railways and locomotives. These locomotives are provided with CCB2, a microcomputer based electro pneumatic brake control system. All logic is under computer control, except for initiation of emergency brake applications by brake vent or through the emergency. Brake valve on the crew member's console. SPI is compatible with 26L type pneumatic air brake systems. Control of lead slash trail functions and brake pipe cut in or cut out is accomplished through SDIS menu selections. The SPI system consists of distributed electronics which are linked by a computer. Network The electro pneumatic control unit, APCU, mounted in the air brake compartment, consists of modular units which control development of all pneumatic control pressures. The operator controls the system through the electronic brake valve. Electronic brake valve, EBV. The electronic brake valve includes an automatic brake handle and an independent brake handle. The automatic brake handle will apply air brakes on locomotives and rail cars. The independent brake handle will apply air brakes on locomotives only. The air brake circuit breaker ABCB must be on for air brake operation. The following sections explain the operation of the automatic brake handle and the independent brake handle. Automatic brake handle. Automatic brake handle positions. The automatic brake handle operates through a series of detente control positions. Release, REL, minimum reduction, min, full service, full, suppression, sup, handle off, ho, or continuous service, CS, and emergency, M. During train movement, the normal operating range, service range, of the automatic brake handle is between minimum reduction, min, and full service, full. The operating positions are indicated by a plate located next to the handle. The following describe the automatic brake handle positions. One release position in this position, the brake pipe is charged to the railroad particular setting and no brakes are applied. This is the normal position when in motoring forward or reverse. 2 minimum reduction, min, position when making a service brake application move the automatic brake handle to the min position. Which will provide a 6 to 8 psi, 41 to 55 kPa, reduction of brake pipe pressure. If it is necessary to increase the reduction, move the handle progressively toward the full service, full, position. Keeping in mind that the farther the handle is moved into the service range, the greater the reduction of brake pipe pressure. The system will automatically maintain brake pipe leakage within the Federal Railroad Administration approved range. 3. Full service, full, position move the automatic brake handle to the full position to obtain a full service brake application. This position will reduce the brake pipe pressure by 26-28 si, 179-193 kPa, and increase the brake cylinder pressure to 60-64 psi, 413441 kPa. For suppression, sup, position this position provides a full service brake application and, in addition, suppresses overspeed control and safety control penalty brake applications. On locomotives so equipped. 5 handle off, ho, or continuous service, CS, Position the automatic brake handle should be moved to this position when the locomotive is a trail unit in a multiple unit consist or is being towed. Dead, in tow. 6. Emergency, M, position to apply the emergency brake, move the automatic brake handle to the M position. The message operator emergency will appear in the air brake message box on the SDIS screen for 60 seconds. The operator will then be instructed to recover by moving the independent brake handle to rail. 
release only after the locomotive comes to a complete stop and the reason for the emergency has been cleared. Warning, in an emergency braking situation, when operating as a single unit or part of a multi-unit consist, locomotives only. Moving the independent brake handle to full application position is the fastest way to develop brake cylinder pressure on the unit consist up to the full independent brake cylinder pressure setting. Immediately after moving the independent brake handle, move the automatic brake handle to the emergency position, M. Failure to comply with this procedure during an emergency braking situation could extend the stopping distance. Warning, following an emergency brake application, if the train is not at rest, brake release must not be attempted. Any movement of the independent brake handle to release, REL, while the train is moving may cause equipment damage and or personal injury. Note, if operating as a lead unit, the electronic air brake, EAB, system imposes a one-minute time delay before it is possible to recharge the brake pipe after an emergency brake application. This timer will start only after the locomotive speed has reached zero. Independent brake handle. Note, application of independent brakes cuts out dynamic braking effort. Move the independent brake handle from the run position toward the apply position to apply the independent brakes. A full independent brake application is made when the handle is in the apply position. To release an automatic brake application, bail off, press the independent brake handle down at the release, rel, position. This will bail off both automatic and independent brake cylinder pressures on the locomotive, train brakes will remain applied. Spring action will return the independent brake handle to the rel position when released. The independent brake handle should always be in rail position when the unit is a trail unit in a multiple unit consist or is being towed dead, in tow.